Hi everyone, it's Melody Lane here, and it's morning as you can tell by my voice. I am not a morning person. Okay, but let's get to why we're here. I have been asked to do how to outline a picture with GIMP. So this is the GIMP software. It's free software you can download. I'll put a link in the description if you need it. If you don't see one, remind me to put it there. So first what I did is I came here and hit open and found this picture. I browsed for this picture. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go here to layer and go to transparency and add an alpha channel. Okay, and what that does is it gives it a blank background. And then in the tools, I don't remember if the tools pop up automatically. I think they do. You can go to tools and hit the different tools and click toolbox. I'm going to hit the scissors. Okay, so we're going to go, I usually just start at the top, click, and then click again, and see how it kind of goes around the edge. See if I click down here. It doesn't really know where the edge is. So I'm going to undo, no. So I'm just going to click on this move tool and then all of this will go away. Sometimes this takes a little practice. And you have to start over. I can move this out a little. So the more of these you put, the more it will follow. So you just want to click around where you want it. Oops. Move that out a little. Put one more. And then click back on this top one until it does this. So sometimes it takes a few clicks usually. So we're going to hit select and invert. So what it's going to do is it's going to select everything outside of the face that I just did and edit and cut. So that takes everything else away. Okay, and then I'm going to save this. And it saves it as a XCF file, which is only used in GIMP that I know of. I don't know what other what other software uses that. Now we're going to export. And it's going to save it as a PNG. And click export. Okay. And click export again. Okay, and now I'm opening Cricut Design Space. And I'm going to upload an image. 
We're going to do basic upload. We're going to click simple image. And there it is. See, there's no background around it, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's click the eye. Let's zoom in. Okay, that's what I thought. There were a few little things here. If you can see right here, I think it's where I had some of those nodes from the other software. So all I'm going to do in here is just erase those. And if I wanted, I could go back and do this again in GIMP. Oops, undo. Do this again in GIMP and get rid of those. I just want to show you how to get rid of them here. Okay, let's look. And in GIMP, I also miss this. You can also click here, Advanced Options, and you can reduce, here, let me show you, the color. Like if you just had a logo and you only wanted to do two colors, you could click that, reduce it to two colors. It always gives like one more than two colors, but then you'll be able to just like click and get rid of that. And now you have this layer that you could do to go on top of the other layer. And you could just print out it. You could just cut this out in this color for the face and put it on the hair. So that's how you can get a make a PNG with GIMP and upload it to Cricut Design Space. I don't want to do that. Okay, here I have the whole image. I'm just going to go ahead and save this as it is. Click save. And I'm going to click save again. Now here it is. And it is in black. It will be black until you put it onto the canvas. And then you want to make another layer for the face and for the eyes and all that. Or you can just have this cut out here. And then you can color it when you get it onto the canvas. Let me show you. So you could color this. Let's say you wanted it. More like the color of the hair. And then you also size it. And then when you get the face on here, you do the face in another layer. But I've done that in other videos so if you need some more help on that check out one of my other videos on image upload okay guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye